Good morning, guys. A little bit of a hike in, so my glasses are fogging up, but uh, on a beautiful little pond that I hiked into today. Uh, so I just got my manual auger. I'm going very minimalistic today. I even forgot my maggots, but I have some artificials, so hopefully I'll be able to trick some small bluegill into biting today. There's not a lot of bluegill lakes in Washington State. I grew up in Kansas. Every little pond was packed with bluegill. Here, if a lake is under 10 acres and bluegill make their way into it somehow through bucket biology, uh, this state's pretty apt to poison the lake. They call that rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. That is, they re rehabilitate a lake by putting trout in it. Trout that have to be replaced constantly because they can't actually persist in these small bodies of water. Like some of the spiny rays, like little bluegill and little bass that I'll hopefully find in here today. So I'm going to knock some holes. I got to be careful because the ice is still pretty thin. Four inches or more in some places, two inches in others. I got my safety picks. That way if I decide to go for a swim, I can pull myself out. But let's get some holes through the ice and take a look what's going on below. <laughs> Downsize to a two millimeter tungsten jig. I mean, eensy beensy. All right, finally got my first gill out of this pond and on camera. He hit that teeny tiny two millimeter, three millimeter jig. Put some mucky plastics on there. It's got a little bit of anise scent to it. And uh, I got him. Beautiful little fish. There we go. That one. Ooh, that's a nice little gill. Look at that. Pretty little bowl. It's got a little bit of an orange throat there. Gorgeous fish, aren't they? Let's get him back in the water. I love having that camera being able to watch them. Boy, look at the colors on these things. They're like tropical fish. Purple, gold, and blue. Man, what a beautiful fish. And that is a stunning little beauty. Man, getting a lot of them now. It's so cool to be able to watch them live take it. I'm telling you, it's just amazing. There you go. See you later, buddy. Definitely downsizing made a big difference to my productivity here. Using two pound fluorocarbon, I'm fishing about three feet below the ice. So I kinda gotta be quiet, cause they spook. <laughs> Dropped it right in his face, he took it. That's a nice sized one. They're ambushing me, man, like they're hiding behind the weeds and coming out and smashing it. I've always maintained that if these guys could grow to four or five pounds, they would be North America's greatest game fish. He swung and missed, and then he's like, This isn't right. And he did like the whole Homer Simpson melt away into the bushes. Got 
That guy came out of nowhere. That was cool. Okay, so with these bluegill, these really tiny jigs can sometimes be hard to get out, but there's this product from Cold Snap. It's a basically a little toothpick. It's got a little fork there, and you can just slide this in the fish's mouth and push up against the top of that jig, and it'll just pop right out like that. And if they get it deep in the throat, it's a really good way to get it the hook out of the bluegill's mouth or any mouth, even a trout mouth or whatever. So it's a really cool little product, a couple bucks. I'll put a link below. Look at that purple. Man, what a beautiful fish. That is so pretty. Like a jewel. He came right in. Nice. That's how I like him to come in. Just rearing. Really good morning catching little bluegills through the ice on a super noodle rod. Made it a lot more fun. I really had to downsize those tiny little three millimeter tungsten jigs with a little bit of plastics on it. Didn't matter that I forgot the maggots. But it's really fun. Just a nice change of pace from all the trout fishing that I've been doing. And I do really love bluegills. They're each one is really unique in its coloration and they're absolutely beautiful fish, just stunning. Too bad we don't have more quality bluegill ponds here in the northwest, but uh, the ones that I do find, even if they're just small, they're still a lot of fun. Hope you guys get out on the ice, have some fun, catch some bluegill or catch some fish. I'll see you next time, and just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.